Keith Rock here at VintageMachinery.org. Well, today, guys, is the day we're going to start tearing down the big shaper, our planer, rather. And I got Mike Wiggins, Backyard Machine Shop. Hey, yeah, how's everybody doing? Yeah, go check out his YouTube channel if you haven't already. And uh, Lance Baltz, he's on his way down. He's uh, uh, had to go pick some stuff up this morning, but he'll be here in a little while, and we're going to go ahead and start tearing this thing apart. So I think we're all ready. Yep, ready to go. So anyway, we'll bring you along for the ride. So let's get at it. Well, guys, because of the way we did this with multiple people working in the shop, I wasn't doing a whole lot of narrating as we were going. So I'm going to do some voice over here and kind of let you know what's going on. We started out by removing this little top section across the top of the planer. And um, as you can see, when we tried to pull it off, we ran into some interference with some bevel gears. They kind of got in our way. Uh, they wouldn't let us unscrew some of the bolts. So we had to... Uh, go down a little bit deeper into the planer here and actually uh, work on getting the where we could pull those those whole rods out with those bevel gears on them and then we were finally able to to get the uh, little top piece across the top and basically what that is used for is to adjust the height of the clapper box uh, you can adjust it up and down using those uh, bevels bevel uh, gears that drive the screws that basically screw the piece up and down so next item here, we needed to get these screws out. These screws screwed into a little tab down in the bottom. Once we kind of got those out of the way, we were able to just pull up on the whole assembly and pull it all out uh, just like this. So we got those two rods out and out of the way. And once those were out of the way, we were able to get our hoist on the cross member, hoist it up, and uh, pulled her out. And we just kind of moved these out of the way set them over on a table um, where we could just start stacking up parts. Then we moved down to the clapper box assembly and started working on it, getting the bolts out of it so that we could get this part off. A um, little bit of wiggling, a little bit of jiggling, and uh, eventually the front part of the clapper box comes off. We were supporting it with the gantry crane and roll her out of the way and stack up the parts on the table. All right, we're taking these... Uh bolts out that basically just adjust the gib in the top of this cross slide. And here we are just taking a screwdriver and driving that gib that's up underneath the bottom. There's a flat gib in here and we're going to take a pair of pliers now that we got it out and just pull it out. Now that flat gib just tightens up with those screws on the top and, and that's what holds that in place on the top. There's a second gib in the back and here we are again removing the screws, taking the driver same process here as before, and uh, we'll get us a pair of pliers here and uh, pull that out. And with the gibs out, now we can kind of move that piece around a little bit better. Uh, there's two long screws that go through here. This one here adjusts it left to right, and uh, we're pulling that one out. It just goes into a little screw in the back. And the top one is, is not actually a screw, but it's actually a uh, just a keyed uh, uh, driver in there and it drives a bevel gear inside the clapper box that moves it up and down and we're going ahead and pulling this rod out um, there we come get it on out of there all right there's a gear back here in the yeah yep so let's figure out what we need to do here now there's a, where that bevel gear is that moves that up and down, there's a, there's a little casting on the back side of that we need to get out so that we can get this front piece off. So there's a screw here. We loosen that up, and when we do, it releases that whole little piece in there in the back. And uh, we're going to reach back in here now and kind of fish that out and get it out of our way so that uh, we can get that whole clapper box assembly off. There it is. So now we're going to be working on getting this uh, cross assembly off that the clapper box rides on. And, and there's some gears over here on the side. These gears are kind of interesting. There's the, as the, the, the planer moves and, and goes back and forth for each stroke, uh, it will um, index this little gear here to make it move. And, and that in turn indexes the head to either move left or right or up and down, depending on which uh, gear you've got things on there. And we're in the process here of removing that whole gear assembly. There's also a clamp part that uh, clamps to the back or at least holds it in, in, in place. Uh, 
takes a little finagling there. We have to get in there with a hammer and, and pry bar to get all these uh, gear pieces off. Uh, but once we get it off on one side, uh, we'll head over to the other side. And this side's a little bit simpler. We're just going to pull it off. It's just that clamp again that holds it in place. Uh, once that is off, the entire cross member uh, becomes free. Uh, we'll see it kind of get loose here. A uh, little persuasion with a lead hammer. Uh, get that clamp out of there. And now that whole assembly is, is free. And with the gantry crane, uh, we can manhandle that and get it out of there. And we're going to basically just get that part out of there, move it over, and get it on the, the table out of the way uh, where we can uh, continue working on this. So anyway, we're going to slide it through there. This gantry crane is doing an excellent job of helping us manhandle these big heavy pieces. All right, I think we are ready to lift the whole table off. I've got eye bolts in four corners. We got straps going up to our hoist here, and we're going to use a six-ton hoist. This table should just lift up. It should just be sliding on the ways, and there should just be a rack up underneath it that ties into a big bull gear. So it should just pick straight up. So you ready? Yep. Getting heavy. It's coming. All right. Now that we got the table, the planer table over here out of the way, I'm, I'm wanting to flip it over, actually get it where the ways are up. So we got blocks of wood here to help protect it, and we're just using the hoist to pick it up. Unfortunately, we get up to a certain point and we kind of max out on how high we can go with that hoist. So we actually use the second one ton hoist to come in there and hook on the backside. We put us a, a pulley on the backside and we were able to kind of pull it over, get it off center, and then once we got it over the hump, so to speak, we were able to just lower it down onto the table nice and slow and uh, get it laying down. We put some clamps back there behind it on the table to make sure it didn't slide off while we were doing this. But uh, now that we got it down off the table, it uh, allows me to get in here and inspect things and see exactly where we at and what we need to do. Well guys, we got the bed off or the table off of here, whatever you want to call it, the part that slides back and forth, and really kind of starting to inspect things and look at what we got. And this was all covered in, in pretty bad rust. I just came in here with a wire wheel and hit it. I mean, it's, 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 it's got a lot of stuff in here. I won't worry about messing anything up. I just want to get that rust out of there. And what I'm noticing is, is we got a lot of scoring, particularly on this side of the way over here. The other ones have got some in it, but not as bad. There is some pitting in here from, this looks like rust over the years. Bottom line is, you know, I, in the grand scheme of things, it, it probably isn't that terrible, but it also could be a lot better. I'm, I'm, we're gonna do a little bit more inspecting on it, but uh, this, may be, this may be a machine I just send off and have the ways reground on them. Uh, uh, I'm not going to commit to anything right now until I can get in here and, and really do a little more inspecting, but that's kind of the direction I'm leaning right now. We'll see, see what we come up with. Um, from what I know about planers is that these usually wear pretty evenly, even if they're pretty scored up. Usually there's not a whole lot of variation in the heights or whatever because they wear evenly, but yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So anyway, we're going to be doing that and coming in here as well and taking some more parts off and getting this down to basically we're going to take the thing completely apart. Now that we got the table off, uh, we're back over to disassembling the rest of the parts and pieces over here on the planer. And uh, most of it's kind of the gearing and stuff on the bottom. Right now we're taking the tight loose pulley off. That was the loose pulley that the belt just idles on. This one here is keyed in place. And I had to take a little lead hammer there to tap it off. Michael Wiggins is on the other side, removing the pulleys off the other side uh, while I'm doing this side. Uh, once we get that out of there, we get up underneath the bottom, take the, the bolts off that hold the bearings in place, and just drop these shafts out. Uh, that one was kind of light, came out easy. This is the little cross piece. 
that shifts the belt, so getting that out of there. And uh, then back over to more of the shafting up under the bottom. Now we're using the gantry crane here to support these shafts. Some of these are kind of heavy and uh, you know there's nothing holding them in place. So we use the gantry, put some pressure on it, remove the bearings and just drop them down uh, out of the way. Uh, now we're over here on the big bull gear. The big bull gear was real heavy. Uh, again, using the gantry to support it up. And uh, they drop those bearing bolts down the bottom and carefully lower it down. Now, with this uh, bull gear, the bull gear is very tall and it's, uh, it's kind of big and it's captured in there. Once we get it down on the ground, uh, we discover that, hey, we can't get this thing out. It's, it's, it's trapped in there. So, no problem. We got a gantry crane. We just go over here to the end, put a strap on there, and uh, raise it up high enough uh, until we can uh, come in there and roll that gear out of the way, get it out of the way, and then uh, move on with uh, everything else here. We're going to drop that back down on the ground now and uh, continue pulling things off. Uh, next here, uh, let's see, here we're, we're actually getting that last little bit of a uh, shafting up from the bottom. There's a big gear here and it's too heavy to pick up by hand. So again, using the gantry, we move it on over here, set it on the table, get it out of the way. Uh, we're just basically piling stuff up right now on these tables, uh, to get them out of our way. And we're pulling these sides off. There's three big shoulder bolts in here that hold these castings on and uh, it sits on a shelf down kind of up underneath the bottom. These things are really tight. There we go. These bolts have been in here for what, 130 years probably? At least 100. At least 100. <laughs> All the hardware on this thing is just amazing. I mean, the bolts have centers in the, on both ends. They turn these between centers on the lathe. There we go. All right. So, two up. I probably need to just set them on the floor somewhere. There it goes. All of these. Yeah. Now about all that's left is to get the legs out from underneath the big uh, planer bed here. So again, using the gantry crane, uh, we put some straps on here. Uh, where we can support it up and uh, get up underneath the bottom there, remove those bolts out. Uh, and then we can slide those, uh, those big legs out of the way uh to get just to where we can get in there so once we get this one out we're just going to right now i'm just getting it laid over on the floor uh out of the way and uh we'll get in there and get the other one out as well now i did uh come in here and put some cribbing up under here just to be on the, the safe side uh, before we remove the other leg uh, and again getting it up pulled up a little bit more on the gantry we're going to slide that leg out and uh just get it out of its way and once we got the, uh, the big casting suspended there, dropped it down, put some 4x4s up underneath it for blocking, and now I can get in here with a pallet jack and just get up underneath that big piece of casting and move it around the shop as needed. Wow, what a mess. We got a lot of parts and pieces that came off of this metal planer. Uh, I've had a chance uh, since we kind of finished up the other day to get everything I, right now, I got stuff on pallets where I can just move it around. Again, I can come here with my, my pallet jack and, and I can come in here and move things around the shop to get them out of my way, move them in different places, whatever. So uh, anyway, that's working out pretty good for me. I want to give a really big thank you to both Mike Wiggins and Lance Balsey, who both came in and kind of helped with this uh, task of pulling this machine apart. Uh, I, it would have been really hard for me to do this by myself. And uh, with them coming up and giving me a hand, uh, that really, really made this a much easier task. And I am in debt to both of those guys for helping me out with that. <laughs> the, the task looks daunting, I'll be honest with you. There is a lot here. And the next real steps for me, uh, a lot of it isn't really going to be a whole lot of fun. I mean, we got to start cleaning all this stuff up. 
and there's a lot of grease, a lot of oil, a lot of rust. And first thing I'm gonna do is probably work on getting the grease off of things. We'll uh, take these pallets out here, take the pieces out uh, to on the patio out in front of the shop and using some degreaser and a pressure washer, I'll just try to get things clean. And then from there, we'll start having to come in here and cleaning the rust off of everything and getting things ready to, to start repainting before reassembly. My plan is, is that I will probably do all of my painting or most of my painting anyway before I reassemble things. Then we'll probably start working on uh, individual components like the, the shafting and gears down here. Go through each one of them a piece at a time, try to get those, those different components put back together uh, so that they can go back on the machine. Probably first step for me is going to be the bed and the table uh, because that's really the foundation for the machine. And um, I do believe that this is going to probably end up getting reground. I've got to talk with a couple of shops about doing that. Uh, I got one particular in mind that's probably going to be my go-to guy. I have a, a appointment to talk with him on the phone coming up here in a couple of days and uh, hopefully we'll work out a deal where I can ship this stuff up there and uh, get that done. With any luck, maybe uh, it can work out where uh, when I do get this stuff reground that I can make a trip up to the place that's gonna do that. And I get some video footage for you guys so you can see that process. It's really neat, I've been up there before. And uh, anyway, I think it'll be a lot of fun to do that if we can work that out, we'll see. So a lot of work ahead on me. All I know to do is, uh, you know, like they say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. We're gonna take this thing one bite at a time and we're gonna take you guys along for the ride so you can see uh, this uh, 1890s New Haven metal planer be restored and hopefully put back to, to shape and be in as good as new condition when we get through. I'm excited. It's been a long time in the coming and this is gonna be a nice, fun, long-term project for us to work on and get things back up and going. That's going to be a wrap, guys. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, th this is going to be a fun series. I hope you hang around and watch it through the end. Uh, hopefully it won't take too terribly long to get through this, but uh, this is going to be a, probably a long-term project, and I will probably have a couple of other little things that you know we kind of work on at the same time simultaneously. And there's going to be some waiting involved on some of this, so uh, uh, we'll get around to everything. But anyway, that's the game plan. Thanks, as always, for watching. Please leave comments if you like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And guys, uh, we'll catch you on the next video.